everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. It has been a very long time since I have made soap. And a longer time since I've made a video. If that didn't make sense. Even longer, yes, yeah, yeah, it's been a long time. So I'm a little rusty, you may have to bear with me. Um, a lot of people have been asking where I've been, am I okay? I've been fine. I've had a lot going on with family and I just needed to take a break to focus on that for a while. And I didn't put my fragrance in here. That's okay, I'll add it in a minute. Um, anyway, uh, I broke my hand in December. It's very hard to make soap with a broken hand. It's still healing, but I am um, well enough that I can do this. So in the meantime, I've been planning soaps. I rearranged my soap room. I ordered new soap molds, which just came in. And I'm really, really excited about those. This is the first time um, that I have used them. They just came, they, I mean, they got here today. So I'm very excited. Changing the way my bars are. Hey, can you see in the camera? Yes. Okay. I also ordered a video camera, but it's not here yet. But I can't wait to make soap. I need, I need soap for um, my holiday shows. And so I can't wait any longer. And I, I, some people told me I would be in a lot of trouble if I didn't do videos anyway. So here, here I am. I'm doing a remake. This is Scorpio. And I'm doing a video because, um, it, I mean, new mold, it's going to be different. This is, even though it's a, I've made this fragrance before, this is all new. But we've been doing a lot of um, testing here with bar sizes, and my family just decided, and a few of my customers decided that we like the um, tall skinny bars instead of the short chunky ones. And I have a couple of molds that um, work with the tall skinny bars, but the bars were smaller than what I like. I like my bars to be at least six ounces, and I couldn't get them six ounces without uh, cutting them really thick. Um, so, and I couldn't find anything that I wanted. They were either too big or too small. So I had some molds custom made for me. And oh my gosh, she did a beautiful job. If you were looking for somebody, um, Kiwi Soap, no wait, Kiwi Company, Kiwi Soap Company maybe? They're on Etsy. I'll post a link down below, but she was super nice and did an amazing job. I will be ordering more molds from her, without a doubt. Okay, I didn't add my fragrance. Last time I did this soap, it accelerated on me so fast. Um, I couldn't get it all in the mold. And I mean, it just, it was soap on a stick within about three seconds. And I was banging one of my molds so hard, I actually ended up breaking it. So. I totally rearranged my soap room. I moved tables around. So I still have my silver table, but uh, it really limited how much space I had to work with. So I moved this table. This was in my soap room, but across the room. And so I decided to make this my main soap table and I'm so glad I did. I have so much more space now. Okay, so there's the fragrance. I'm just gonna stir this in. And this is going fine. I, I soap with a really steep water discount. And the last time I made the soap, I did the thermal transfer method. I think it was just too hot. I need to get some new jugs. I like these. Well, I don't know. I don't like how tall and narrow they are. They're really hard to get the soap out. I didn't realize these were so tall when I ordered them. And they have some shorter, wider jugs, but I don't know. I just have to prioritize. I haven't had any shows in a few months, so this is um, not a very busy time of year for me. And I just had to pay all of my taxes and everything, so I really have to budget. 
you know, insurances do you all of the big stuff is this time of year. So, and then I bought the soap molds and video camera. So I've got them on my to buy list. Not to mention I have to redo, you know, supplies that I'm out of. All right, here's my new mold. It's so pretty. Hope you can see that. It's a breakaway wooden mold. I don't like lining. <clears throat> Let me tell you, it took me a long time to line this thing. But I think it'll be worth it in the long run to get what I want. Okay, let's see if I can do what I'm what I have in my head here. I marked where my loaves are. I should be able to get three loaves out of this. Can you see the whole soap loaf, yeah. honey? Okay. One of my girls is here, but oops, let me see. Start that's getting thick. One of my girls is usually always here. We are we homeschool um, all of our children. A little plucky. I'm trying to remember how I normally do this. I don't remember. I should have watched my old video, but I didn't. I just know my colors because I love the color scheme on this one. This is one of my favorite soaps, and it sells very, very quickly. Hard to see on the edge here. I don't want to stick my head in front of the camera. That darn light. Do you have the hiccups? No. Oh. I don't know what. I thought you did. Yeah. I may have overcalculated how much soap I need I'm close to the top here. And I see some wood peeking through. Gosh, this white cup. Thick. Thick, thick, thick. Oh, I just flung it all over the place. I'm still flinging it all over the place. That is why we wear safety gear, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, down the side of my brand new wood mold. Okay, it's all getting thick. I'm gonna save the rest of that for the top. save the rest of all of that for the top. Okay, I'll snap this down. Let's make nice little handles. All right, I didn't test. Oh yeah, that's not gonna work. I need to get a new hanger. may have made a mess of that at all. It's 
still figuring out where everything is in my room here. This is the first time I've made soap since I rearranged. Okay, I may have figured this right. Maybe not. I didn't want to fill the mold. Looks like that's what I'm doing, though. I ran my numbers on this so many times, trying to make sure my bars were going to be the size that I want. Looks like these are going to be a little bigger than that. That's okay, trial and error. Okay, so there's gold down the back. My brown is still very fluid. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to make my mica drizzle. Mm. It's okay, I'll do that. I have a lot, a lot of white left. A lot. I try to pour it evenly too, but I guess it gets too tricky when it gets so full. I think I'm gonna call that good on the white and I'll probably just, I'll put it in a little mold for us here. Same with the brown. Okay. I just whipped up a little bit of Mica. This is more of a masculine scent. Oh, the women really like this one too, but um, it's not real foo foo. It's teakwood and cardamom. So I don't like to do glitter on this one. Even though my white got thick, it soaked rather well. Pretty. Yeah. Except I lost some of my mica drizzle. Let's do a little bit more of that. All right, let's try this again. And I'll swirl. Try to swirl without ruining my top now. I like to have the gold drizzled all throughout. I'll get a thinner, I'll get a thinner stick for this. Because I don't want to muddle it. Does that look better? Mm-hmm. You think? Mm-hmm. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully it wasn't too rusty. Um, but there you have Scorpio. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to attach the cutting to the back half of this video. Okay, here's Scorpio. Where's the ball? And you can hear my daughter in the background. Where's the ball? I don't know where the ball is. Can you go find it? No, where's the ball? I'll go find it. Where's the ball? Or ask your sister.
We had a very late night last night, and my two-year-old kept me up. She's, she goes through phases where she wakes up a dozen times a night. Last night was one of those. So it's pretty early here. Here are two of the ends. I may not cut all of the loaves. I ended up with three loaves, which is what I wanted. And there's the first bar. But yeah, I may not cut all of the loaves on the video. She's only going to tolerate me ignoring her for so long. She's in the garage getting the cat's food, honey. But I'm very happy with this. Um, my molds are going to take some trial and error with the lining. I did have some leaks, but nothing too major. And I have a little bit of a curve, which is fine because I bevel my soaps anyway. Um, but I want them to be a little crisper. So I'll play with that. But anyway, here's Scorpio. And this soap will be cured, um, you know, the middle of April, around April 10th or so, 2016, and will be available on my website at StargazerSoaps.com. Thanks for watching.